Hello, everybody. Welcome to Freedom Friday Hour. Yes, and this is Ms. Kapow, and today's date is September 23rd, 2016. And today's title is Just How Stupid. Just How Stupid. Just How Stupid is the title. Okay, before we begin, I must give my disclaimer. Those who are new who may have landed on this show by accident... This is a conservative, alternative news, current events podcast. We have a traditional Judeo-Christian viewpoint. We even go beyond that with biblical Christianity. So I tell you this in advance. It's a conservative Christian podcast. If you're new listening and you're liberal or you're progressive, you're a cultural Christian, you get your feelings hurt easy, you're into political correctness, this is not the show for you. I beg of you, turn it off now. <laughs> I'm dead serious. There's no there's no sense in calling us haters and being mad and you're going to go in your safe sp- I guarantee you. I'm going to say something that will make you go into your safe space and wet your pants. No, I'm serious. Do not, please. And that comment right there should be <laughs> That should be enough. Should be enough right there. Please. And I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. This ain't for you. This isn't a show to reach out to you. This is not for you. Go where you belong. For those who know what this is about, or if you're new and you have a conservative Judeo-Christian viewpoint and want to hear the alternative news Mm -hmm. this is the place for you if you're a mature person who's lived life and you understand these things and um, that you've never uh, been into a safe space then this is the place for you those who are avid listeners and we do have those who listen all the time every week Mm -hmm. um, we want to thank you Mm -hmm. for listening because you are like the only people who actually listen to bad news everybody else runs away because the news and life is so terrible. The world is just collapsing around them. So they want to go to the movies or they want to play video games. They just want to escape, right? They want to drink, do drugs. But no, you, you want to listen to Freedom Friday and hear all the bad news and yuck it up with us because you're crazy like that. But we love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Ms. Kapow, you have a scripture about just how stupid... Psalm 34, 16 says, The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the memory of them from the earth. Um, Proverbs 22, 8 says, He who sows iniquity will reap vanity, and the rod of his fury will perish. Outstanding. Let's start with this first story. We talk a lot about transgenders and this agenda that's global today Mm -hmm. and just how confused people are they're just confused the people that do this and i i do feel sorry for them because it's like they're getting all this stuff in school and on the internet and it's like i don't know if i'm a man or a woman and i'm confused and it's totally unnatural Mm -hmm. it's they're totally freaking themselves out you know over nothing Mm -hmm. and of course this media and this agenda they keep promoting this it's just a destruction of society it's Mm -hmm. just how stupid just how stupid well the brits let me give you a little history about the brits can you see this screen miss capel Mm -hmm. is that good okay Mm -hmm. um since the creation of the british army more than 350 years ago now that's before i was born yeah i would say so (laughs) it is slightly women that includes your gender, Ms. Kapow, have been Mm -hmm. banned from close combat roles. You know why? Because you guys cry. No, I don't know why. (laughs) But they they were banned from close combat roles. They, women, have previously served on the front line only in support roles like medics. But the rules changed in July, this last July, after studies into the job's effects on women's bodies. Huh. Yeah, so they are now allowed to enter the Calvary Infantry and Armored Corps. Yeah, so now they can fight front line. Women can fight just like men. 
They can also apply to join the Royal Marines, other, you know, things. And so there's an open recruitment for women uh, that will be held in November 2016. That's coming up. That's coming up. So they just changed the rules in July. In November, they're going to have open recruitment to try to get some women in the front lines. So then other infantry units will follow, introduce women in a phased approach. And, of course, a standardized fitness test will also be introduced to make the process fairer. All right? So that's the facts on the British Army. Women are now going to be allowed to fight front lines. So on the face value... You know it's an open door to evil. You know it is. I mean, if you just look at it, you go, okay, women are now allowed to fight uh, front line. But no, no. Here's this dude. Here's this guy. His name is Ben. I think it's Ben Allen. And he's a 24-year-old young man. He's a guardsman. Now, this young man named Ben, uh, well, he liked to dress like a, a, a girl. Mm-hmm. He likes sometimes. to paint his nails. And he puts earrings in. And so he likes to refer to himself as Chloe. Chloe. But he's a male. Mm-hmm. He's biologically a male. He was born a dude. But he likes dressing like a girl. And he likes calling himself Chloe. So he was doing this. He was cross-dressing one day in private mm. and doing his thing. He was, he, was, he was looking at himself in a mirror as Chloe. And he was all made up. And he, had, he was dressed like a girl. He had makeup on and fingernail polish. And, you know, he's a soldier. And he was looking in the mirror and he was singing this song. I'm a dancer in the garden, and I dance in the moonlight. (laughs) When suddenly, when suddenly, his fellow servicemen discovered him dressed like a chick singing this song in the mirror. Oh, boy. I'm a tiny dancer. Oh, boy. Now, I know in the old days, they would t- take soap, put it in a sock, and they would code red this guy. Uh-huh. Everybody remember what code red is? Yep. Yeah. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> You're damn right I call it cold red. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what that movie was about, uh-huh. man. Exactly. Um, so <laughs> they would have code red this guy, but not in Britain. Mm-mm. This was probably tea time when they were having tea and scones. Crumpet. Crumpets and they go, yes. oh boy, there's Chloe dressed, there's Ben dressed as Chloe. And <laughs> singing his song. He's singing his song. He's, look at, he's got a way on the wall. <laughs> he's waiting on the wall. So they discover him and they go, it's cool, man. It's cool, Ben. <laughs> yeah, that's what the story says. Oh, I don't know if that's pizza. true. Oh, yeah, they say yeah, it's yeah. cool. So he. Uh, yeah, they don't want to get court martialed or whatever no, they do. Whatever exactly. Exactly. Ben has been in the service for four years, but he changed his name officially just last month to Chloe. Isn't that interesting how it coincides? Mm -hmm. Now, there's pictures of this young man on our Facebook page, and he looks like a young man. In fact, Mm -hmm. he's not a bad looking young man at all. Mm -mm. I think he's a very handsome looking young man, Mm -hmm. but he still looks like a man. I mean, he hasn't done. You can tell he had his eyebrows done, though. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. They do look waxed. Mm-hmm. Is that what they do for eyebrows? They wax them, or they thread them? Maybe they're threaded. Well, yeah, they're shaped. They're beautiful. So he uh, he comes out because he was caught. So he comes out and he says, "I've changed my name last month to Chloe. Um, I identify as a female, right? So guess what the British Army does? Keep in mind, since July." They now allow women to do the front line, Mm -hmm. and they're going to recruit women in November. You know what they do? Mm. They celebrate Ben's psychosis. Mm -hmm. They celebrate it, his psychosis, and they say that they call him or her. They say she will be the first woman allowed to engage the enemy in hand-to-hand combat. We now have our first woman in front line 
but Combat. he's not a woman. He's just a woman. I mean, a man that likes to wear women clothing. And exactly. So it's a lie. It's a huge lie in the British military. Uh, just how stupid. Exactly. You talk about confused. Mm. I'm more confused than a transgender. <laughs> and that's pretty confusing. This dude named Chloe, calls himself Chloe, he's now started hormone therapy. Oh, for the love of pizza. Aye, aye, aye. So pretty soon he's going to look like a manly, a manly woman. Uh, he sports long polished nails with silver studs in his ears. And he said, it's a great honor to make history. I'm just looked at as a normal person. Really? So the British military is using this guy named Ben Allen to say he's the first female frontline soldier and has made history. But he's not a female. How could he make history as the first female when he's a dude? I know. But obviously he's going to become a woman. I, but I know. <clears throat> but that's the reasoning. You see? Oh, you're manipulating what? the truth. But it's but so it's ridiculous. It, it is It is so just how stupid is this story? I agree. I agree. I it doesn't make, it's, it's not logical. It's not. It's not logical. If you were to say, if you were to say the Mesquite Police Department is now going to allow canine officers, dogs, in the police force, and we're going to have canine dogs uh, to do dog stuff. And then Officer Rowe says, I identify as a dog. And they walk in and they catch him hiking on a fire hydrant. And he goes, I, I changed my name to Fido. Then the Mesquite Police Department celebrates Officer Rowe, who is a human as the first canine dog in Mesquite Police Department history. Would that not be ridiculous? Yeah. There's no difference in this no. story. There's no difference. Exactly. You're right. After Ben, excuse me, Chloe was caught. Okay. After he was caught dressing as a woman, the next day he went down for muster as usual. And his comrade's reaction set him, set his nerves on ease. They just, you know, he went down to muster and, and they said it was just friendly banter. They were just having a laugh. The whole sort of worry that I had, I shouldn't have even worried. The entire battalion's been brilliant. So they just kind of laughed at him. <laughs> ben was dressed like a chick. Hey, uh, hey, little girl, right? And he says, if it hadn't happened, I'd still be living a lie now. <laughs> really, Ben? So the lie is that you were born a male, but you want to be a female because that's the lie. But you're saying the real thing is, is the lie. See how confusing that is? God, that almost sounds it like... the It's um, chaotic thinking. It almost sounds like satanic thinking, doesn't it? Is it is satanic thinking. Wow. It's... Crazy. Crazy. Ben says it's a blessing in disguise. It's evil. Mm-hmm. Oh, and check this out. It goes one step further. Is Ben married? He's married to a female. He has a wife. Oh my. One fellow soldier heard about the incident, him dressed like a chick, and suggested that Ben talk to his wife. So Ben says, it was the first time I told anyone. It was a relief. Yay! I bet she was thrilled. <laughs> I bet... Ms. Allen was just thrilled. And he says, selfishly, of course, it felt amazing to finally tell somebody and for her to be, to be so accepting. See, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, this is, this is a hit piece, obviously. This is a, an agenda piece. But uh, these poor Britons, uh, the service, they're, they're totally confused. Um, I just hope they don't go to war anytime soon. I do hope they get some real females in there that uh, can actually fight because Ben. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Ben's is dressing like on a his chick. Nails. 
But you know the the thing that was so ridiculous. The whole thing's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But really, what what irks me is the British military celebrating this freak as their first female recruit. Right. Exactly. Really? Yeah. That's the bottom line. That's no. that's what's. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Mm. 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 <laughs> well, now you sound like the Yeti. <laughs> Well, if I identify as a Yeti... Then you are. I could be the first Yeti in Mesquite. I could make history. Mm-hmm. They should do an article on me, but they won't. No. They won't. They're racist against Yeti people. Especially Mexican Yetis. Oh, they're the worst. Mm-hmm. We are the worst. Because mm-hmm. I found some great rolled tacos the other day. Did they have cheese on it? Yes. An mm-hmm. avocado. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And I was working, wasn't I? You were working, but I took one bite of this taco... Well, they call them rolled tacos here, but they're they're taquitos. Oh. I took one bite and I went, my goodness, this is lovely. So I'm going to try to have some. They only come <laughs> in a little ba- basket of three each. Oh, I that's mean, why I didn't see any. Be? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I was I was uh, I had to eat it on the run. Oh, okay. I was on the run. <laughs> um, you know, speaking of that, you know what? We always talk about bad news. Let's let's give some good news to the people. <laughs> this is good. This is wonderful news. And all news. cheese lovers in the world. Yes. Folks, this is true. This is good news. Guys, gals, this man, this is from the Telegraph from the UK. And it says, high fat cheese, the secret to a healthy life. Que- question mark. But we, we know that question's answered. Of course it is. A diet rich in cheese might actually be good for our health, according to a new study. Folks, are you getting excited? <laughs> like I, I read this. And I sent it to our good friends, John Janey. Yeah. And um, I think John got a little excited, too, when mm-hmm. he, he read the article. He was mm-hmm. like, yeah, I knew it. He was like, I knew it. I couldn't prove it, but I knew it. I was like, yeah. Study behind it. Yes. Yes. Um, in fact, speaking of John Janey, I mean, Janey actually bought me a tub. I know it sounds bad, a tub of cheese. It, <laughs> that sounds awful. It was a small tub. But it was a small tub, and it's so delicious. I got hooked on it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You're on cheese crack. I'm on cheese crack now. Definitely. <laughs> and had this study not come out, oh, we yeah. would have had to have an intervention for it. I you. know, but see, but I'm, I'm losing weight yeah. with the high-fat cheese now. Okay. I, I am. The study proves it. I've been trying have to tell people Have you looked in this. a mirror lately? <laughs> <laughs> that's just teasing. No, that's... No, that fat that's on me is from when I was trying to eat healthy, eating vegetables and fruits and those salads, and I was starving, so my body was hanging on to the body fat because it thought I was going to die. And now I start eating off. cheese like a Yeti, and it's pouring off of me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm looking like Superman. Mm-hmm. I'm looking like Ben Chloe. <laughs> hey, group of researchers from the University of Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Okay. Found that eating cheese could help to improve health by increasing our levels of good, high-density lipoprotein, or HDL cholesterol. Which can also increase with exercise. Well, how about if you combine a little... Let's let's compromise. Let's combine a little bit of exercise with a little bit of cheese. Okay. Can we do that? Sure. I'm not saying don't exercise. I'm not saying don't eat cheese. I'm saying do a little bit of both. Okay. And you, maybe you eat more cheese than you do exercise. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know, it doesn't matter. It does probably doesn't matter because they, they balance each other out. Well, I know how you think. That's I'm, I'm thinking. Saying. I'm thinking going to anytime fitness, getting on the bicycle with a tub eat, of cheese. With a tub of cheese. <laughs> Who's to stop me? No one will stop me. No. I might end up on YouTube somewhere, but. <laughs> you will. <laughs> But anyway, the, 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 see, I'm so excited. The HDL cholesterol, the good stuff, is, is thought to offer protection against cardiovascular and metabolic diseases, folks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, this research, it has to be true because it, it was conducted over a 12-week cheese test <laughs> with 139 adults. What I would give to be part of research like this. <laughs> they just said, hey, dude. Here's here's all the fat cheese. Here's some goodies. You know, it's like twelve Have weeks, at it. and I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, hey, I'm doing research here, folks. Exactly. Don't 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 judge me. I'm doing research. It's good for humanity. It is. I would take one. I'd, I'd take one for the yeah. uh, for the team. <laughs> but anyway, the research um, was to discover how full fat cheese can yeah, affect not, our not bodies. Even low different fat ways. or non fat. You know what? If you're going to eat cheese, go for it. That's like eating diet ice cream. Oh, Are I you hate serious? Diet ice cream. There's or no eating such thing as diet sorbet ice cream. Sorbet or come on. It's a Chloe ice cream. That's a Chloe ice cream. So anyway. Fuji. 
Yeah. Um, you read the study for yourself. I'm not going to go into the details, but I will tell you this. The report is in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Oh. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's a good deal. It could be. It could actually. What they're saying is that cheese consumption prevents fat accumulation in the liver and has the potential to improve serum leptoid parameters and that's how they measure cardiovascular uh, risk. Cheese could also be a key to faster metabolism and reduced obesity. That that's, is underlined. Yeah, in red. In red. Okay. Can you believe that? A reduced obesity and higher metabolism? Come on. Bring on the Roquefort cheese. Uh, you know, it's this is what I've known hey, for we years. Can, we can tell Jeff that he can eat his feta cheese now. Oh yeah, he can get rid of the get rid of the broccoli. Mm-hmm, Broccoli's mm-hmm. for babies. Yeah, unless you have cheese on it. Feta cheese. Oh, that might uh. be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love cheese. I guess, folks, I go to the fats. Uh, I know he's salivating. Already. Nuts, <laughs> nuts, cheese. You know anything that is fatty. You can have the white breads and all stuff. And I'm not a sugar guy. Mm-mm. Fats. I love fats. <laughs> it's the devil it's the devil okay uh people are weird some people are weird <laughs> really? and some people are just how stupid how yeah. stupid can it be um this guy doesn't eat cheese obviously because no. he's stupid but he used a, a crucifix that's right a crucifix and he attacked five people in ventura california wow yeah it's amazing. Ventura used to be a nice area. A very nice, nice area. Yeah, and and I'm reading the comments here, and a lot of people are saying Ventura and Oxnard have just turned into it's dumps. A cesspool. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. California just went by the Dump. wayside. Well, yeah, <sighs> it's a welfare state, and you just it, well, they don't prosecute the crime. There. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah uh, uh, Governor Moonbeam. Yeah. Well, before that, we had Nancy Schwarzenegger. Pelosi. Yeah, I will not raise your taxes. Look, we have our senators there. Yeah, Pelosi and Boxer. And yeah, what's the other gal's name? I forget. They all look alike. They all look alike they to me. All look alike. They all speak the same language. Yes. Well, around six a.m. Thursday morning, we could go Thursday. Witnesses reported a person who was out of control, and he was attacking people in downtown Ventura. This guy's 35 years old. He broke into the gift shop at the Ventura Mission. He stole two crucifixes. And then he approached a person in the parking lot and he demanded to use their phone. When the guy said, get out of here, then he hit the guy with the, with the crucifix. <laughs> and then, then, the, then the perp, the perp then walked down Main Street and he attacked two more innocent people with the crucifixes wow. for no reason. And he continued his rampage. And then he approached a 75-year-old man who was just sitting in his car. 75 years old. And then the perp smashed out a window and started hitting the man. Oh, I don't Yeah, like that. that guy had to go to the hospital for minor injuries. Yeah. He continued to attempt to rob people. He walked eastbound on Main Street. He smashed out another window at a thrift stop. He stole a bike. Wow. Check this guy out. How long does it take the sheriff to get there? <laughs> yeah, for, Forever. People are following this guy around the street. So now he steals a bike. Um, and then he approaches another victim and he starts hitting that person with a crucifix. Wow. Yeah. So by now, there's a group of citizens in you know, California. It, they got the strictest gun laws. I mean, they got very strict gun laws. So no one's armed. No one's able to stop this guy. And so they're following him. And so he approaches uh, some intersection. And then the, the police finally mm-hmm. arrive. They take him into custody, and so they charge him with a bunch of stuff, including elder abuse on the 75-year-old guy. Wow, what a nut bucket. I wonder yeah. what, uh, what prompted this. Drugs and demons. Yeah. They go hand in hand. And the lack of cheese in your diet. There you go. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. Uh, you want to take a commercial break? Sure. And then we'll come right back, because we're going to talk about this uh, this philly rampage this made the news i think really briefly last week yeah it just when cops die the yeah, media goes a burp. Burp. yeah a couple of cops died burp, 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 and then they're done but when a cop shoots a black man because black lives matter <laughs> yeah unless you're wearing a blue uniform exactly which will this this story will tell you because the cop that got shot was a black cop wearing a blue uniform yeah but see then his skin color doesn't it, it doesn't matter, matter. yeah 
Uh, but, uh, yeah, the media will go on the other end. It doesn't matter if the, the, the suspect has a gun, he's waving a gun. Oh, it doesn't matter. But so when cops get shot, very little coverage. This hit like maybe one day and then other stuff happened. And then, of course, right now, Charlotte, North Carolina is oh, a mess. Crazy. And who knows what they'll do tonight? Yeah. The thugs, the Marxist thugs. So we're going to be right back. And then we'll talk about this Philly thing. I don't know what all this fuss is about, about these pestilence. I think the scientists are doing a great job. Clueless? In the dark? Uh, I think the government's doing a good job. Have no idea what is really going on? I have an app for that. Kapow Radio Show app for iPhone and iPad. Kapow Radio Show app for Android. Get the app. Get a clue. Hey, Vinny. I love politicians. I think they've got my best interest in mind. Get the app. Get a clue. FifthHookMedia.com Okay, we are back. Two cops are shot. The suspect and an innocent bystander stander was killed in West Philly Rampage. This was on the 17th. This was just last week a few days ago here's what happened this female sergeant and she's she's a, a female a black mm-hmm. she's a black sergeant she's been on i don't know 19 years or something like that she's yeah, a sergeant so she's 19 a year veteran officer mm-hmm. uh, but she's in a patrol car in uniform working some special some special deal so this guy he comes up and he ambush, ambushes her. And it is amazing that she survived this. I know. It's a Absol- miracle. It is. It really is. Wow. Wow. Um, he goes on a shooting rampage. He kills a young woman. He wounds two cops, you know, including that sergeant, and three other civilians before he was shot to death. I'm surprised it wasn't, they're, they weren't writing it about him. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe they, they picked their battles. Like, um... Mm, I'm sure they praise him as a hero. Philadelphia police commissioner said that this guy, his name was Nicholas Glenn. He was 25 years old from West Philly. It started about uh, 11 o'clock at night. Glenn walked up to a marked police cruiser and he began firing. Mm. The gal in the car, Sergeant Sylvia Young, she's 46 years old. She was sitting inside of her car. She was shot several times after Glenn fired 18 shots. Now, wow. later on, I learned that she took four or five rounds in her left arm. And what happened is when he started shooting through the window, I mean, you don't even have time to react. She just leaned into the passenger seat. She just mm. laid down and he kept shooting. shooting he, put a- eight, not, he put eight nine millimeter slugs center center mass right into her chest right. and she was wearing a ballistic vest mm-hmm. eight rounds eight rounds yeah he really wanted to assassinate her yeah and in fact one, now this is bizarre too one of the bullets hit her service revolver mm. so, so there's no sh- way she could defend herself Mm-mm. anyway and they said it made it inoperable so she couldn't even fire her gun what anyway. are the chances of that you know? bizarre man I, 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 if she's not a Christian I know she should be now <laughs> You know what I mean? She should be like, wow, there's a bigger purpose in life for me. Because that is amazing. 18 rounds he fired at her. Uh, the gun the gun was hit as well. Her, her service revolver, like I said. All right. Now, the, another officer. So what this guy does, he, he shoots. And then he starts taking off. Other cops who are around the area come and start chasing this guy. So as he was running down the street... There's a 36-year-old man, right? And he shot twice in the left arm and once in his right arm. And then a 42-year-old man shot twice in his left leg. And a 41-year-old woman shot once in her right ankle. They're all in stable condition. He's just mm-hmm. shooting everybody. Um, he's he, he goes by this bar and he grabs, uh, he shoots a security guard. And then he grabs this woman and he uses her as a shield. Wow. Yeah. And then after he, he then he, he walks away and shoots her in the leg and he keeps running. There's two people sitting in the car, a man and a woman just sitting in the car. He shoots them. 
the woman later on dies. Oh, bless her. Heart. She dies. So oh. she, she's a, she's a casualty here. She died, and then he ends up dying. So two deaths in this. Everybody mm-hmm. else survived, but they were all shot up. And uh, the guy in the car was initially in critical condition, but then mm-hmm. was stable by Saturday. And so then they're looking for this guy. He goes into some um, tire store or something like that, and he's hiding. And fortunately, he doesn't see the cleaning crew there. And they, they hide, and but they call the cops and say, hey, he's behind some tires. Mm-hmm. So they come and run. And then as they, they corner him in an alleyway, there's a Penn State University cop. There he shoots him, Mm-mm. and they all unload on him, and then kill the kill the bad mm-hmm. guy. He goes on this rampage. Wow. It didn't make a whole lot of news, no, which was amazing. Not. Yeah, which was amazing. Now this guy, the the dead guy, Glenn, was carrying a white sealed envelope, and this is why I tell the story. One of the reasons why I tell the story. This is interesting. He was carrying. Why he's doing this? He's carrying a white sealed envelope that read, "Quote doomed." people mm. doomed people wow i know wow and in that envelope was a rambling letter allegedly written by him in which he expressed hatred toward the police and probation officers i don't know why you would hate probation officers unless you were on probation <laughs> yeah for crimes hmm he said there was no reason to believe at this point the gunman had any religious beliefs that drove him to the shooting. So let's let's go ahead, Commissioner, and get Islam out of the way. Exactly. It couldn't. No. No. Mm-mm. So they say, other than his rantings in the letter, his motive was unclear. We may never know. Really? I haven't even read the letter, and I can tell you what his motives were. He mm-hmm. hates cops. Yep. He hates people. Well, it's interesting that they won't disclose what exactly is in the letter yeah yeah probably has something to do with hating you know white people and, or it might even be islamic language yeah, in there could be you know yeah you never know so this uh yeah this, this that, that was kind of weird you know to, to run around and have that in your in your hand mm-hmm. very very bizarre but anyway he um just not too long ago before he did all this stuff Believe it or not, this guy has a history of drug possession. No. Mm -hmm. He was also arrested and charged in connection with a gang-related rape. No. In 09. But the charges were dropped. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. So this guy was no no angel. But they said he didn't say a word. He just Just walked up to the car and just started shooting her. Wow. Eight in the chest. If it wasn't for the, the vest... You know, and but, God's grace over her. Yeah. Oh this, my goodness. That's a miracle. Ugh. That that is a miracle. Can you? I just I cannot imagine being in that situation. And then you can't return fire or Mm-mm. anything. Even if she wanted to. So I don't know yeah, if she, she was, was facing death. Oh yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I know, that's Eighteen what I'd be rounds. Thinking. Yeah. How do you, how do you, how mm. do you survive that? Unbelievable. So anyway, the guy's dead. There was no protest on this one. I don't understand it. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. Crazy. Okay. You know what? There's there's naked people out there still doing stuff. There's a lot of naked people. There's a lot of naked people, a lot of clown people. <laughs> yeah, there's clowns out there. It's true. Well, there was an article where a little 11-year-old girl oh. was carrying a knife in school. And when they caught her and they asked her about it, she said that she was afraid of the clowns. Oh, and my So she goodness. actually took the knife to school to protect herself. Wow. That's sad. Yeah. There's some people are definitely, I don't know if there's a, there's a term for that. Definitely afraid of clowns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why they're doing this stuff. I don't either. Just, it's disgusting. You know what? It's just how stupid, mm-hmm. just how stupid can humans be? Well, this is from Orlando, <laughs> Florida. Mm, what Orlando, is up with Florida? I know. It. it used to be California was like fruits and nuts, man. But I'm but telling Florida you, Florida, like, oh, you know, it's, they got they got that zombie. It's the seawater. It's contaminated with radiation. Is that what it is from Japan? <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're right. But you know what would help? Huh. Cheese. Cheese. Yes. Cheese helps prevent radiation poisoning. I'm doing a study. Okay. I'm doing a study. Uh, some guy he died. The suspect died 
didn't quite know how, but he died. Well, this because was last he bit Saturday. the woman, and she had some kind of a <laughs> she, disease. Maybe Radiation. She, maybe, yeah. <laughs> She's a zombie. Yeah, something. Yeah. And he poisoned himself. <laughs> well, he dies after he breaks into a home while being naked, and then he bites a woman. Now, this is another horrible thing happening to somebody. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine being sound asleep? No. Well, Someone yeah, breaks in your house. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine being sounds like breaks in your house and then get attacked like that. No, that and her husband's right so there. So freaky. Mm-mm. He was Maybe. forty years old. This this God rest his soul. <laughs> James Rains was forty years old. He's accused of breaking into a home. He was nude. This is about four thirty in the morning. Wow. So you're on your fifth dream by then. I mean, mm-hmm. you're you're gone. He attacked. Two women and a man inside the home. The victim stated that Reigns was out of control. They believed he was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. You think? Probably because it was erratic behavior. Yeah. yeah. He allegedly bit one person during the attack. Deputies found a bite mark on one of the women after the incident. Wow. The victims, <laughs> and I like this, quote unquote, defended themselves. Excellent. And were ultimately able to pin Reigns down in a bedroom until deputies arrived. Mm. So, obviously, there was no gunplay there. When deputies arrived, Reigns uh, was taken to an area hospital, and then he died. So, they don't know what caused the death. When they defended themselves, did they just beat the heck out of him? Did they hit him with fry? You know, who knows? That They're not saying. But then he dies. Um this guy, Reigns, had lived in the area. When deputies had went to his house, they found a woman inside who looked like she was under the influence of drugs and needed medical attention. Hmm. So, who knows? Maybe he, he broke into the wrong house thinking it was his house and thought that was his uh, old lady and decided to bite her. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, zombies need love, too. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Zombies, and you know what? I should do. A, I should do a commercial for the uh, the mattress holster at this point. Yeah, folks, get a mattress holster. It's get them on Amazon. I don't know what you call them, but it's 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 for a bedside holster. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's 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 a flat uh, piece that slides under your mattress, mm-hmm. and then the. Uh, the material hangs on there you can stick your yeah gun you stick in. your gun there you stick your uh, extra magazine and a flashlight um lay Kinda in like bed. a clean eastwood yeah you lay in bed adjust it i i i have one i lay in bed and i adjust it so that my hand could reach right down without having to get up or move you can reach right down and grab that butt of the gun and come up blazing because if you're going to get bit do it in a blaze of glory yep yeah Oh, yeah. Uh, I think they're like 30 bucks. So, I don't think I get uh, paid for that commercial. No. I should. Salem, Massachusetts. Is that how you say Massachusetts? Is? Massachusetts. It's like Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> or saying sausages. <laughs> sausages. You know, uh, Salem has always been known, renowned for the witch, witch hunt. trials. Witch trials. Witch witches. trials. Yes, witches. And then it's become a haven for New Agers, mm-hmm. Wiccans, witches, covens, occultists, sorcerers. Sure. Why because not? it's a fun place to be. Because it's Salem. They used to kill witches. And now here we are bewitching, mm-hmm. doing what witches do. So it's kind of a witchy area, right? Yep. Well, guess who is putting their headquarters, their national headquarters in Salem Hmm. and do not say Rick Warren. Hmm. The Satanic Temple. Satanic Temple. Isn't it interesting? That they would have it there. That the the Satanist would then relate to the witches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could they be one and the same? The New Agers. Interesting. But yet they want to be more intellectual. Yes. Oh, they don't actually worship an entity. No. They just use it because uh, the story about Satan is like the epitome of rebellion and mm-hmm. drug, sex, and rock and roll. That's that's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. The satanic... The satanic. 
The Satanic Temple officially opens its doors today, Ms. Kapow. Mm -hmm. Friday, today. Salem will become home to the organization's international headquarters. I'm sorry, I said national. This is international. This is big stuff. Pitchfork-wielding mobs protesting the move seem unlikely as the fire and brimstone theology of the Puritans who once populated the city has given way to a live and let live. Live and let live. That's the attitude. Will. Do as they will is the whole of the law in Salem, Massachusetts. Less than a mile from Gallows Hill, the notorious spot where villagers executed more than a dozen people accused of witchcraft in the 1690s, an 1882 Victorian, that's a Victorian house building that's located on Bridge Street, will serve as the Satanic Temple's first physical headquarters, said Lucian Greaves, the temple's spokeshole. Can you imagine how haunted this building is? Mm -hmm. Built in 1882, Victorian. Uh, No, this one was built in 1882, but the the witchcraft trials occurred in 1690s. Yes. But yeah, can you imagine? And it was used for other things. It says, the history of Salem is also part of the history of Satanism, Grieve said. No, I I, I imagine some witches, especially the Wicca Wicca people, would take exception to that. Mm -hmm. But I think he uh, he nailed it. He says, I feel that Salem is a very appropriate place for this temple. Of course. The Satanic Temple building, which is zoned as an art gallery... An art gallery. It will open to the public with art installations, lectures, and film screenings. Hmm. So, I mean... That was their ticket to get in there. Yeah. So some tourists, you know, they're walking around Salem, Massachusetts. Look at this. This is fun. You know? And uh, they're going to go look at some art. Go to the art gallery. and maybe pick up some pictures of Satan. (sighs) And here it is. Yeah. Amazing. Those expecting the kind of demonic scenes portrayed in Rosemary's Baby will likely find themselves disappointed. Dating back centuries, they say, Satanism has been misunderstood by American society. Grieve says that Satanists Satanists do not worship an antichrist or any other deity. Dang it. Rather, Satanism preaches independent thought and using evidence-based science as a basis for understanding the world. Really? But you have a church of Satan. How could that be evidence-based science when your very name says we're the church of something that we don't believe in? Because everything satanic is crazy. It doesn't make sense. It, it makes as much sense as Ben it's, Cleo, Cleo it, Ellen. Exactly. It's chaotic. These people me. frustrate me. It's because it's not truth. <sighs> it's... Just so stupid. How stupid. I know. Read on. Okay, read on. So they use evidence based science and they view Satan as a literary figure representing an internal struggle between against. Uh, or against authoritarianism. So basically, rebellion, drug, mm-hmm. sex, rock and roll. But they don't believe in this entity, but we'll go ahead and call ourselves the Satanic Temple. It doesn't make sense. They have about 40,000 members nationwide. Chapters have engaged in a number of campaigns supporting causes such as separation of church and state and free speech. These are the same people, if you remember, in Oklahoma that they lobbied for a bronze mm-hmm. statue of Baphomet, that one and it has the two kids looking at the, this right. winged Baphomet creature, has a head of a goat and a body of a human. And they wanted it to be displayed next to Ten Commandments there on state capitol. And then the Ten Commandments, before this happened, was removed after the state Supreme Court last year ruled a religious sculpture cannot be displayed on government property. So that's how they win this stuff. That's what they go to city councils and then do the invocation of prayer to Satan. And then all of a sudden city councils go, because they did this in Phoenix, we're not going to have prayer anymore. So that's how they get rid of all this stuff, by bringing, you know, I, I think Greaves or... One of these guys, the, the, the head guys, are attorneys. So yeah, they use the it, law. Think, yeah, he is. Yeah. Well, they say so far, residents and business owners in Salem seem at ease with adding Satanists to the witches' city's mixed bag of Wiccans, 
warlocks, and an array of faiths outside the mainstream. But see, it's so much like Satan, though, to convince people that he doesn't exist. Yeah. It's, it, that's his M.O. Yeah. And he's, this guy's a perfect um He's a perfect shield. Or, yeah. 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 Well, we'll call our, we'll call our organization a satanic temple, but mm-hmm. we don't actually believe in the deity, Satan. No. Just like people don't wish not to believe in demons. Yeah. But, but we'll call our organization the demonized, but mm-hmm. we don't actually believe in demons. They exist, yeah. It just, uh, we just use the term for chaos. It just whatever. does influence. Yeah. The mayor of Salem says, we received a total of four phone calls. Mainly, they were just expressing concerns or objections. Four. The one issue the city is looking into is whether the temple will operate as a place of assembly in addition to a museum because of possible zoning issues. Uh, This guy who owns the Coffee Time Bake Shop down the street had no idea the Satanic Temple was moving into the building. And that building, I'm telling you, it's haunted. It last housed an insurance brokerage. And, and a funeral home at one time. A so long you know time nasty. funeral home. You got, you, you know, yeah. there's a reason why they picked that place in Salem. Mm-hmm. This one gal organizes a community pride landscaping competition among business owners in the area and said um, they doubt the temple will face much backlash. They said it wouldn't be my favorite thing to put there. It was a little surprising, but I guess we're waiting to see what kind of art they will show there. So everybody's cool with it. And uh, it'll be fine because Halloween season is coming up. And they have approximately 250,000 tourists that visit Salem during the Halloween season Mm. to go, you know, look at the history of witchcraft and all that stuff. Amazing. So anyway, that's where they're at. If you want to find... um, The Satanic Temple and their people, you know where to go. All right? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think that's it, Miss Grandpa. All right. And I think that fills up the whole just how stupid. How stupid, yeah. Yeah. So the only thing not stupid is that the study on cheese, Mm -hmm. it will increase your metabolism. I really believe that. And it will help (laughs) you. I'm telling you, I've had this theory for a long time. If you don't feed your body, there's nothing wrong with fat. See, that's no. that is mass marketing media. That's those. That's not true. Your body needs fat, needs yeah. protein. What it doesn't need is a bunch of carbs. It needs complex carbs like fruits and vegetables, but it doesn't need the junk carbs. Mm-hmm. But fat and protein. I mean, how many fat Eskimos do you see? They just they walk around chewing well blubber all day. <laughs> I know. I lived with the Inuits. <laughs> You'll say anything to eat your cheese. I'm telling you. And what happens is you feed the body what it needs. Mm-hmm. It's like the paleo diet, man. This is this is man cave stuff. Mm. I'm trying to teach you a lesson here. You eat what your body needs: fat and protein, because you worked all day and you're working out in the gym, and and you give it what it needs. It says, "I don't need to retain." This body fat, I don't need to retain this water gain. I don't. I can let it go now because I, I'm not starving. I can let it go. <laughs> I think that's, that's the good news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my Christian cheese. I haven't seen you this happy crack. in a long time. <laughs> I, I'm thrilled with that study. I am, um, I've printed it out. I, I've, I'm uh-huh. taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it with me. I carry it in my wallet. <laughs> and uh, so you, know, you go to a restaurant and a waitress says, would you like cheese with that? You're, you're dang right I want cheese with it. Look at this. <laughs> poor, poor that bad boy. And I think Swiss cheese is okay. I mean, you can't cheese, but it's not, there's not a lot of high fat content cheese. You need, you need that sharp cheddar, folks. <laughs> you know, you need to go with the uh, Ashagio. <laughs> All right, folks. (laughs) Okay, I got to go. God bless and uh, ciao, babies.